Today I will go and show you how you get to use your Namecheap domain to create your custom email containing your domain name. It's gonna be done completely for free. Not only that, I will also show you a good way how you get to go and connect this to your already existing Gmail account. So in this way, if customers go and write you an email, you will go and receive it also on your personal Gmail account and you can go and respond from your Gmail account, which will eliminate a lot of problems by checking multiple email providers. So let's get right into it. In order for you to start, you're gonna need your domain name already bought with Namecheap. I'm gonna assume that you have already done this. If not, you can go and check this video where I show you the easiest and the cheapest way how to do it. Once you've done this, just go to your dashboard in Namecheap and click on private email on left hand side. In here, you're gonna go and click on start my free trial. Inside here, you will go and see three options in here. I will go and leave this link also in the description so you have all the discount codes there included as well. In here, you will see three options. The unlimited one, I would say is overkill, you don't need it as much. And then it's a choice between only pro and starter plan. If you have a business website, I would go and recommend you to go with pro. In that way, you will have three mailboxes included. But for the example of this, I will go and show you the cheapest and the smallest way starter, just to show you that it's also possible to do it this way. So I'm gonna go and click on get started. Now we can go and choose from different options inside here. So you can also go and purchase your domain via this, but I already have my domain registered. So I will go and click on use a domain I own with Namecheap. On next page, we can see three different domains I have bought with Namecheap. I will choose the one that I want to go and use for my email. And you can see also on the right hand side, it is completely for free. So I will go and select it and click on continue. Here you want to go and choose the number of mailboxes. If you remember from the plan selection in this specific plan, I only have one mailbox available, but if you went with a pro plan, you can go and choose up to three and it will still be free. So let's click on add to cart. Inside here, if you want to go and be safe and don't overpay for it because you may forget, you can go and turn off auto renewal and click on confirm order. Inside here, you have only your order review. You can see we are still paying zero dollars. If all information inside here are correct, just go and click that you have read terms and services, definitely read them if you want to, and click on pay now. And now we can see the transaction went through and we currently have our mailbox ready to be created. So I'm gonna go and click on create a mailbox. Firstly, we need to go and create our mailboxes. Scroll down. Click here on create mailbox and here we want to go and choose our mailbox name. So this is the first part that's going to be visible. That can be, for example, the name of a person. It can be support ad, customer service ad or something different you would like to have displayed in there. Then you will go and create your mailbox password. This is what you're going to go and use to log in the same way as you have with Gmail and also mailbox storage. In this plan, we have only five gigabytes. If you are using pro plan and you have three different mailboxes, you want to go and split the amount of storage between those three. So I'm going to go fill this up and click on save changes. And you can see our mailbox have been successfully created. If I want to go and access it, I just need to come inside here into edit storage, click on this arrow and go to open webmail. And here we just need to sign up. So we're gonna go and use the new email that we have created with password. And if we log in, we can see we are inside here. And now we can go and receive and send emails using our custom domain. But in many cases, this must be very confusing, especially if you are managing multiple ones. So let's make it in a way that you will go and receive all of those emails directly to your Gmail account. One thing you want to go and keep in mind is that Gmail is fetching your emails not every single second, but in certain time periods. So if I click here, you can see it in here. When was the last fetch created? So in this example, if somebody would go and send me an email at 6.30, 
I would go and receive that email on my new Gmail at 7.05 because this is the time of the latest fetch from the previous one. So you can see it's about one hour to 45 minutes interval when they are getting this data from your private email provider. So this is just something good to keep in mind. So let's connect it to our Gmail. I have created completely new Gmail in order to show that it's possible without any prior preparation. So what we're going to need, I will just go and copy the name that we want to go and use as the email address. I will come to inbox and here I want to go and click on this gear icon and here just go and click on see all settings. It will take us into this area. Here we want to go and click on accounts and import. I'm going to click on it and the interesting part for us is add another email address which is shown inside here. So I'm going to go and click on add mail account and in here we have two options inside here. So we need to set it up separately to send email as this person and also receive email from a specific email. So let's start with receiving email. I'm going to go and click on add a mail account. Here I need to go and add the email address that we have already created. Then I'm going to click on next. Yes, we want to go and import emails in here, so just click on next. Here, this looks a little confusing, but don't worry, it's actually a very simple. Namecheap has actually created this a very cool step-by-step -step guide. I will go and also leave it down in the description and show you the specific way also in the top pinned comment inside here, so you have it all in one place. Pretty much, we just need to go and replace certain stuff inside here. Here you want to go and create a password and here inside pop server and port we're going to go and copy what this guide says to us. So into pop server we want to go and get rid of this and in here we are going to basically put whatever is set in this email in here in step 5 because this is for us to receive emails not send emails, this is going to be a different code and different port as well. So now I just need to go and copy this and I can go and insert it. And in terms of port, I just need to go and put this 995 port inside here. So I'm going to go and choose this and you can go and check all of those stuff. Definitely check the SSL connection in here. And after this is done, I can go and click on add account. Sorry for the mistake, I need to go and update my username and now if I click on add account you will see the pop3 server will be working. Now we have two options. If you only want to go and receive emails, so basically have notification whenever new email came in, you can go and click here on no, I don't want to send anything. But since we want to go and send emails as someone that's receiving it, I want to go and click on yes. Here we want to go and check the name. This is basically when you are sending email, what's going to be shown to the recipient of the email. So I would highly encourage you to just copy the pre-existing stuff you have in here and click on next step. I would go and also keep it, keep it alias and click on next step. And then we can see we have slightly different ports inside here, but no worries. We just need to come inside here and Pretty much what we are doing is copying those inside here. So inside SMTP server, I just need to go and copy this and place this inside here. And inside the port, we want to go with 465 since this is the option using SSL. So I'm going to go and click on that. Username is actually going to be your email. So I will once again copy the email that we're going to be using. And we can go and replace this with an email. And also, once again, just insert the password inside here and click on Add Account. It will check the credentials. And now what happened is that we have received two confirmation emails, basically one confirmation email for this new web address. So this is the only time when we need to go and log into this email. So I'll come inside here into our name chip, 
go to domain list, see the email that you want to use, click on edit storage and go to open webmail. Inside here, we need to go and put our password. And then here we can see that we have received a confirmation email. So I just need to go and click on this long link and click on confirm. And now it is actually connected. One thing to know is whenever you want to go and receive email, it's good, there is a little trick. So let me go and show it to you in here. So now we can go and actually try sending a specific email. So you can see I have only included the email that I want to go and save it. This is from my personal email. So it will represent customer. I want to go and send this test email. So I will go and click on send. Now what basically happened when we come back inside here, I will go and refresh this private email in here to make sure that we have received this email. You can see it is inside here. We have also image. It will also include any attachment you have. So we can see that it has been delivered to this private email. So let's go and check our Gmail account as well. In here, if I click on this, you can see that we have also received this email redirected in here. We can see how it is displayed with the label of the email that we have also received. So if you are receiving your normal email, you will be able to go and say which one is this. But keep in mind that if you want to go and reply, it is automatically taking your main Gmail account into consideration. So you would always need to go and click on yourself and make sure to select a correct person. But there is also a better way how to do this. I will just go to see all settings. Once again, you want to go and come under account and imports. And in here, what you want to go and do is take a look at this specific case. The usually as a default, it is set on always replied from default address. So this is going to be your main Gmail address, but we want to go and make sure that this is set on reply from the same address the message was sent to. So I will go and make sure that this is active and now we can go back and now if i go back let's reply to this email i will just click on reply then you want to always make sure that you have selected the correct person as you can see since i have changed it in the settings it's automatically taking the person who it was delivered to so i will just make sure that this is selected and click on send and this was done completely by actually using only Gmail. So if I go to the classical email, I will just refresh it. You can see I have received this email, but what is very important for me is seeing who sent this over to me. And we can see it was actually this person with the correct email. So in this example, we use Gmail successfully and we don't need to go and even interact with this private email from Namecheap. It's a very cheap, it is very easy to do and it doesn't cost you anything. And I would definitely go and suggest you to use this. Once again, if you want to go and buy domain with Namecheap, you definitely want to go and check this tutorial. For more helpful tutorials, subscribe. This is everything from me. Have a nice day and goodbye.